local media is here. Media from out of space they are here. In fact, I've just been informed that uh, the only journalists that went to the moon with Sir Richard Branson is here in the house. A round of applause for him. So, so everything here is international because why? First Act Branson is taking First Act global. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start. Let's start with God Almighty. Lead us in this program. Be with us and direct our path in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah, let's give God a round of applause, man. Let's be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, two-time chairman of our board of the Government Chairman. That is the chairman of twice. He just re-elected. You guys voted in the game. He's an engineer who is a doctor, who is bad at time. A round of applause for him, please. But he's ably represented here by his chief of staff. Please a round of applause for him, please. And security challenges in this country. It's not in first time. It's not in a mode of him. Because of God and because of one man. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'd seen this man 20 years ago, right now, I would have been a policeman. I never thought police would look this good, this handsome, this strategic. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for me. Seriously, I don't know. That's the people. That's the man that makes sure that 24-7 you can sleep. A round of applause for him again. Our body has not even looked the corner, right? That is the man making sure that hospitality in Festa is number one. Can you give it up for him, please? That's him. Every representative. And he's making sure the marathon is non stop. That's right. Your rooms are great. Festa is still private. That has the most resident association in the whole of Nigeria. And some people are making sure that that is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for President, Festac Resident Association, Miss National Faculty. Right <laughs> you know what matters on it, but this is the first time it's coming to probably the only estate in Nigeria that is gated with a million persons. Over a million persons live in Festac. And no man from, from 1976 till date. The only man that can really tell us about this dream is the man who I will call right now, Mr. Moses Wanzi. Celebrate, now the sports enthusiast, and one man who likes to dream. You can stand up, you can stand up, you can stand up. He has dreamt to you, and by his grace, this dream has started. I thank you all for being around. Um, I don't have a script to read. <clears throat> I'm just going to say this off my head um, because um, the originality is there. And I will um, just um, present the synopsis of First Act Marathon in the manner at which I conceived of the idea. I grew up in First Act since 1977. And, um, I got married about 17 years ago, and then I moved out of First Act to Lake Mary. But ever since I left First Act, I always find myself in First Act. And I've always been tempted to come back to First Act. And my family would not understand why am I always coming to First Act. First Act is a community that people who grew up here live as one, there's a strong bond. And there is a very strong affinity, you know. So I have always thought of being the chairman of Festac Town, not a more of it. just Festac Town alone. Because there's so much in my mind that I want to do, I would love to do for this community. But within the capacity, within what I can do, I you know, by the grace of God, I thought of the Festac Marathon as um an idea, a concept that can rejuvenate Festa Town, re-energize the community, and also 
project, further project Fester Town to the world as a community with a strong social cultural value. This town in 1977 hosted the World Festival. All the black communities all over the world stayed in Fester. And that event was global. And we want to maintain that status quo. It's been a very long time, it's 44 years ago. But 45 years down the line, Festac has still lived as a community. And so it is time for us to begin to reproject who we are and also remind people that a lot of superstars emanated from Festac in sports, in entertainment. You all sports journalists, you can mention the names. Like of Amunike, um, you know all these sports guys who come from Festa. Yes, and if it's entertainment, you're talking about Two Face and the rest of them. So, Festa Town has a glory. And this is another opportunity for us to begin to discover new talents and female. It's a maiden edition. We did not want to overflows our dreams, we thought we should do what we can do within our capacity so that we will not be indebted to our runners, to our volunteers, to our partners and everybody who is a stakeholder. But be it as it may, there are organizations who felt that this event cannot go without being part of it. That is why we have the likes of Armstrong North MBL, who is strongly behind us, and we're very grateful for the support they are bringing to the table. We have Tatiana Hotel. Tatiana Hotel, you know, they are just selflessly generous. If you have anything you want to do in this town, this organization are ready to support you. We have Fra Papa Betting Company. We have Platinum Fitness Club, we have the Rapongi Lounge, we have the Three Lounge. So many, you see, if you look at the backdrop, you know, you can see all the organizations that are, you know, we said, rightly said, First Act Town is a place where you live and you feel like nothing is going on. If there's any robbery here, it is sorted out almost immediately. The town is organized and there are no complications. And so that's why we have seated here the big deal of Esther Town, you know, who is providing, you know, the much needed security that we need to leave this whole year and is also, you know, part of this project to ensure that the participants and everybody, our visitors, you know, feel at home and um, secured. And um, of course, charity begins at home. That's why Festa Town Marathon has come here. And we also need to recognize the fact that in every community there is a mayor. We must pay that respect to the mayor, who is the chairman, um, Dr. Valentine, and he gladly and quickly embraced it. And I can speak authoritatively on his behalf that um, our chairman is hosting Festa. 10 kilometers marathon. We actually put his, we are going to put his weight, our weight, on this particular event, financially and otherwise, to make sure that it is, it is to make sure that uh, it is properly done in such a way that everybody outside within and outside first time we appreciate this event, an event that we know that it will definitely bring together so many people within Festac and outside Festac. It will bring about, it will, it will also enable us to discover so many talents and that in one way or the other might be residue or might, be, might, not, might not know that they have the ability to do this and they can one way or the other represent this state or the country in future events. So this marathon is very, very germane and it is a uh, annual event by the government. It is going to be a yearly one. And any time the event comes up, generally the government of Amu Wadafi 
will be involved. Please keep it up and God bless you. I know, uh, maybe don't mind, please. You have to do a lot of class. I have financial support. I have weights. These are big statements coming from. And like we all know by God's grace, first after going global 44 years ago, is going global again. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard government speak. You will hear another government speak again. Ladies and gentlemen, CPS, Balogo. Yes, we can make a round of it's my GPU. It's not just first that GPU, it's my police. Uh, good morning, all. Good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Uh, other protocol leaders are. Uh, well, it's uh, an opportunity for me to be part of this. Uh, well, Mr. Moses, am I right? Yes. When he came to my office and uh, he told me about this uh, project, uh, I really welcomed it and uh, it's a very good thing. Uh, during my own time, it's been a while for, for me to be fortunate in this uh, project. Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, coupled to the fact that uh, we have some security challenges, so I believe they know the right thing to do. Uh, the security is paramount. So I also pledge that I should be part of this project. Well, uh, before on the day, on the day of this uh, marathon, we will first, of course, uh, check around with my men uh, to know all the terrain, the places they will pass through, secure, and when comments or so, we will all still be part of them. And my men will also be participating uh, with them. On the road. So, uh, yes, this 10 kilometer first time marathon must be done and done well. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, we'll call on one man who represents every living soul in first act. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mr. Shola Farouk of Pakuri. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, thank you for the chief of staff. The organizers of this event, plenty for events, and uh, everybody on the IDP and the other side. I first of all want to thank Mr. Moses, although you have the choice that you make the major edition be done in first act. Like in first act dress, we have known each other for up to about 40, 40 years or so. I'm still counting. I still see it as the first time. Even though we have been defeated, but it's heart and soul the first time. Nobody leaves first time. Your parents are still here. Your siblings and your friends and your business is still located here. I want to thank you for bringing this in. Yeah. If you run for government, I'm sure government will come to me. What he has done is to run for humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, please give, give it up for the president of Teams, Sport Club. Doctor Osai. Right. He has actually shown himself in terms of organization as a member of this festival, and we can all see the result of his enthusiasm by organizing this festival of our children. It all started like a joke, just like the first time that he said what he said. But again, the joke has turned into something real. It's a dream, and the dream has come true. And we must give glory to God for that. We are fully supporting the first act marathon. Tatiana is fully support the first act marathon. And we are still going to support more activity in first act. We are doing great things in Tatiana here. First act is full of potholes. And it's not convenient to run. Whether it's a race, whether it's a longer meter, whether it's a marathon, to run with potholes. What does the government plan? to do with the roads to ensure that the marathon will be smooth. The marathon is starting by the 1st or 2nd of October and I know by the grace of God we are going to reach the road very very soon. Before then you will see us uh, doing a lot on the road and the economy is not smiling. Every one of us are there. But nevertheless the chairman has given fit to make sure that we continue to 
We want you to do the road here between those areas that are, that are damaged. And I want to assure you, in fact, uh, well, let me just say that I want to assure you that within a couple of uh, weeks, you will start seeing the road being touched in one way or the other. Thank you. But the question asked by one is what is a very sensitive and important question. Chestnut Town is a peculiar um, estate. It is being run by the Federal Housing Authority. And um, so far, for whatever reason, the Federal Government has not been doing what they ought to have been doing. We, the local government has, if not for the intervention of the local government, those that are worse. And again, we as special group, we usually meet the chairman and we write to Lagos State Public Works Commission and we have met them several times and they have started patching some of the roads. 23 roads, you can't see any go from beginning to the end. And another part is going to be taken by Lagos State Public Works. My name is Femi Adetula. I'm a freelancer with uh, Super Sports and uh, the PR of Nigeria on the Big Um This is a, a logical uh, initiative. Uh, I have to give it to the guys that's uh, putting this together uh, because, uh, like you said, you said, Chairman, sir, I, I see you, sir. Please take it back home that uh, let's do more sports, sporting activities around there so that we can take our needs away from other, you know, other bikes so that. Uh, they can be useful to themselves and useful to the nation. Thank you for It will give you a very good a pleasure because you mentioned somebody like uh, Amunde Kedan, not the, the white people. I think if you involve him to be the ambassador of this event, it will gather a lot of momentum, interest from the higher and the mighty in the society. So if I want to big sportsmen like that, living here, let them be part of it. Let them be the ambassadors. Let them speak on your behalf. Um, actually, uh, Amoniki has endorsed Festac Marathon, and there are photos to show that. Uh, Choma Ajunwa, too, has endorsed it. And um, as time goes on, you will find Richard Gali, too, has endorsed it. Okay? Um, as time goes on, you will see other uh, superstars, even in entertainment, you know, coming out to put their voice to the uh, project. Nice one, I appreciate your view. Yeah. Thank you, Kuna, from the Sun Mr. Uh, the nice initiative from the first time, 100 km marathon. Nice one. Thank you. 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 Thank how, how, how would they contact you in form of getting the form to participate? So we have our age limit, our list, 18 years and above. If you are below 18 years, you must get your parents' consent for you to participate. Our website is www.festacmarathon.com. From there you can register, you can get all the information you need to know about Festac Marathon. All the details are clearly stated there, and the registration is free. It's free registration. People that stumble on your website and they happen not to be Nigerians, what was your response to them? Response to them? Why filling the form? Yes. Sir, please, I would like to know after the registration, what will be the next thing? Um, after registration, we will send you your wrong number and then we will add you to, you, your name will automatically you know, be updated on the back end, that's how it is. And then we will also add you to the uh, runners uh, group where we currently constantly update them with uh, information as to what is going to happen from now on to the other event. But do you know what? Somebody called me from Kano, a runner. He said he's coming with five runners. He now asked me a question that are foreigners participating? I said no. He said why? I said it's just, just a Nigerian content. He said the problem is that Nigerians think they cannot beat a foreigner. 
that even in the Lagos City Marathon, that they give more um, attention to the foreigners. And then they, the Nigerians, you know, are giving lesser attention. That we should throw it open to the world and let them come and let us all run on this level playing ground that is assuring me that they will beat those foreigners. I said, well, good one, but this event is not for foreigners. It's strictly a Nigerian content. Let's keep it in Nigerians for me. So probably was, uh, part of our accreditation is for us to ask them to speak the language of where they claim to come from. If you say you are from, you are Delta, you are Igbo, they speak Igbo, you know? <laughs> so uh, the, the simple thing is that it's strictly a Nigerian content, uh, no foreigners. Thank you. So off before we leave it. Because people go for sponsors all their life. Thanks for the First that's how marathon is to bring the community closer together, to reunite the people of this community and those coming the those coming from other places as well to project this town as um, a town that is rich in cultural heritage, sports, entertainment, and the, and the rest, and to also foster unity, love amongst us. And one of the strong tools that we can use to propagate such is true sports. So um, at this point, I'll say um, thank you again for being here. That's just um, an overview of um, Vesta Town Marathon. Thank you.